Kipchoge has the hand of history on his shoulder. He has less than 200 meters to go. Elliot Kipchoge, let's keep an eye on the clock, into the final 20 seconds. Elliot Kipchoge storms into the history books in Vienna. 1.59.40, the unofficial time. The first man to run a marathon in under two hours. One final lung-busting stride for Kipchoge. One giant leap for human endeavor. From the time of working up to the time of starting the race, I think it was the hardest time as ever in my life. Because it was about four hours, but it, uh, it was translated like uh, 30 minutes. I tried all the best to be calm and concentrate on the distance, uh, concentrate on the time, and, and actually listen to my body, take the fluids, and uh, that's how it goes. The crowd first was actually awesome. It was really fantastic, cool. it was really cool, and you can see it was wonderful. Uh, when I approached the finishing line, then I saw the times actually are real times so where I've been waiting for a very long time. They're cheering him on. Let's bring him home. This is history unfolding on the streets of Vienna this morning. So I was the obvious man to cross the line and see that I have uh, just break that barrier of two hours. And then at that finishing line, that I found my family, and I was happy to hug them and uh, to make them feel that they are part of history. I always say my, my family is like ignition key of a car, and it was really uh, good for them to, to be the part of history. Also, they give me more confidence uh, to be at the uh, finishing line, and that's how life should be by celebrating with the family. I didn't want to risk anything to, to, to run 159.58 because that's a minimal and you, you don't know what will happen for the last 300 meters. So it, it was safe for me to, 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 to really run under, under 159, uh, maybe 50 seconds. And that was the safest part. The pacemakers have let him go. He is sprinting into the history books here. 1.59.40, the unofficial time. Uh, actually, I was amazed after crossing the line. Then uh, 30 minutes later, I received a lot of videos, and I had to take time to watch them. You can say, actually, in Kenya, it was crazy. And my happiness is that uh, many people actually uh, uh, managed their time to, to watch history. And I'm the happiest man because uh, I've inspired many. Uh, those who got interested to the uh, Neo 159 challenge by last night was about the uh, 1 billion, which is actually a positive mark, and that's what is required in this world. Sport is the only profession whereby they can change people and make the people's lives actually uh, make a big impact in a positive way. So when I see the, the tallest building in Kenya, KICC, my name is there and my, my, my image is there, everybody is there watching. They, they normally sell uh, six, uh, a pizza for Kenya, 600 shillings, but they sold yesterday for 159 shillings so clearly to, to commemorate the time that I had. I think every day is a challenge for me, but for now, I've been actually working for, for this event for the last two years. I tried in Monza in 2017 and I missed it by 26 seconds. And I came back to the drawing board with all my team. And yesterday it was a day whereby I managed to make history. My message to all world is that uh, no human is limited. Uh, no human is limited actually is that I'm trying to, to tell every human family that uh, they are not limited at all. And you know, Kipchoge was right. No human is limited. And now he can celebrate. He has done it.